All right, I got a package and I know exactly what this is. So I'm going to open this. I don't know why I'm filming the box that it came in because it's really hard to cut it with one hand. All right, I got it open and sorry if the quality's bad, I'm using my phone, but I got it out. And the reason why I'm filming it so low is that this like plastic thing has a, a reflection. So I'm not sure if I should be filming around where, where my face would be. But yeah, let's get this open. Let's look at the box actually. And uh, I think I said this with my other unboxings on this channel, but if you're looking for a review or like um, like an in-depth in -depth look at, in, into like everything, then this, you're in the wrong place because I'm just gonna open it and put it on my channel. And here's the top, by the way. I'm leaning back so far so it doesn't get a reflection in my face, but yeah, hopefully that doesn't reflect anything. I'll have to blur it if it does, but yeah, that's the top. All right, here is it out of the packaging in the like the plastic mold or whatever. But weirdly enough, there's like a hole so you can like touch your face. Okay, I got that open. Hopefully that doesn't reflect anything. This base is reflective too, so I'm a little scared of that. I don't know where this is supposed to go. Like right here. No, that's upside down. There you go. Okay, we got a faceplate, which is also wrapped in plastic. And then the figure itself, also wrapped in plastic. So another cut. Okay, so I had to decapitate her to get off the plastic. And weirdly enough, it has like a, I don't know what you call this, a peg that normally like dolls and like action figures have. And usually for figures, it's more like rectangular. But this one is like, it's weird. But yeah, um, I'll show you the head too while it's detached. On the camera, it looks like she has brown hair, but in real life, it looks more purple, uh, akin to like the, the show itself. Yeah, there's the face. Okay, so I found out why it has like the circular peg. It's so you can move her head around. That's so weird. It, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure you're, oh my God, I almost dropped it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be moving the head around unless it's just loose. I can't do it with one hand, but, cause I don't have anything to hold up my uh, my phone, but uh, yeah, look at that. You can move the head around, which is really weird. I've never seen a figure like that. All right, I'll try to put on the other face. If you guys don't know, that's what the inside of a human skull looks like. So uh, you can thank me for your anatomy knowledge. All right, there we go. We got her with her like shocked face with the bug eyes. We'll put it on the body and then I'll switch it back when we put it on the stand. But we're just gonna put the bug eyes on for now to see what it looks like. Here's the head on the body. And I don't actually know what she, where she's supposed to be looking. And again, it's really hard to move it while I'm holding the camera. But she could be looking this way, which I think is maybe right. But she could also be looking completely the other direction, which could also be right, maybe. All right, so I got her on the stand, but the thing is, the peg on the bottom doesn't go all the way into her foot. So I don't know if she's supposed to be floating like this, but this way you can like turn her around and stuff. So maybe it's supposed to be like this. I, I'm not too sure. Here's the figure. Flash looks so much better on camera. But uh, I know some of you perverts just come here for, for this shot, so there you go. There you go. There's the fan service for the episode. So yeah, here, here's it with Flash, by the way. The colors are like so much better on camera. You can see it. But yeah, here's the back. And you can see the hair looks a lot more purple with the flash on. All right, there we go. Let's just put her back on the stand. And that's all for this video. Goodbye.